Welcome back to Wazaday. Where I was today is Temple of Apshai Trilogy. A 1985 release from Epix here, running on the Apple II and MAME. We've got to wait for this uh, screen to do that, and then... No, yeah, okay. So, uh, what's thou play the game in? Normal high-res or double high-res? Uh, I propose that we play in normal high-res first, and then reboot and get into some uh, double high-res action to see uh, what the upgrade is like. Um, yeah, surprisingly, uh, running this in MAME, it, the double high-res graphics seem to work okay. Uh... Virtual 2 seems to have an issue when when you try to actually get into a dungeon here, so let's create a new character at random. We got 180 pieces of uh, silver, let's do Waz. Okay, and uh, purchase a fine weapon. Um, maybe a... You know, what do you think, a broadsword or a short sword? Wait, um... I don't know what this game's position is on broadswords with shields. Let's go for it. Well, let's do some haggling. Oh, no, uh, we should have gone lower. Okay. Um, let's uh, check out the armor Wait, first. Uh, you want to get some ring mail? How much do we have left? We've got what? Where's our gold? Silver, rather. 165, okay. Yeah, I feel like chainmail, we're spending too much of our budget though. Let's go for some uh, ring mail. Uh, but 100, let's uh, offer him 70. Let's offer him 80. Okay. Haggling, important. Uh, let's see how much the shields are. A large shield or a small shield? I can't, I can't tell what my... Um, my weight limit. Weight carry at 31. How do I know what my weight limit is? Let's go for a small shield, I guess. Um, five. Six. Okay. Uh, let's get some salves. Ten each. Uh, let's uh, buy five salves. Leave us a little bit of uh, money left. Okay. Let's enter the temple. Slow, medium, or fast monsters? Let's do fast monsters. Let's go in to the classic Temple of Apshai. Uh, with level 1. Now unlocking the dungeon. Yeah, so Virtual 2 would get this far and then lock up every time. It would never actually get into the game here. Alright, so this is with uh, normal high-res graphics. Um, I've got my Apshai command card up here. Uh, you can press L to turn 90 degrees to the left, and maybe you can't see it really well there, but uh, so let's, let's maybe uh, hit R to turn right, and then let's walk five paces by hitting the number five. Uh, so there's a little chest there, let's turn turn back to it. Uh, walk five paces back, turn right, and hit uh, G. G? G to pick up a treasure. Uh, so we got treasure number 20, which is trash. Good to know, good to know. Uh, and also that that thing behind us is the door. If we wanted to exit uh, this level, we could do that. Uh, but let's let's explore a little bit. Let's uh, hit nine. Walk nine paces. That's the maximum number of paces you can walk. Um, you also hit spacebar to walk one pace uh, or hit one. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get into it. Uh, long time viewers of the channel may recognize this game from uh, Mufa Day, my, my series where I look at classic Macintosh disc images, uh, where I looked at the uh, classic Macintosh port of this game. I didn't really uh, learn anything from that process, so we're doing it all again here. It's the Apple II version of the game. I'm not sure you know where this game was originally. I think, you know, Temple of Apshai Trilogy is made up of individual uh, games and this trilogy that I think were released elsewhere first. Um, surprised we haven't encountered any monsters yet, to be honest. Getting some more trash. 
Uh, it does seem like the classic Mac port was pretty uh, pretty faithful to this. If you know this is a good version of the game, classic Mac is uh, pretty similar to this. It's more trash. Okay. Uh, the nine. More trash. Maybe we should look in the, now that I've actually found a copy of the uh, FSHAC manual. We should look at. Uh, I don't know if these numbers are in the manual somewhere for you to look up stuff. I thought I thought maybe they were, but I'll be wrong. It's, it's a pretty big manual. Let me see if I can go through it real quick. Yeah, all these uh, rooms are described. So if you want to, you want to look, look. Let's look. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm on the upper reaches of Epshire right now uh, in this Temple of Epshire trilogy manual. Hang on, I'm trying to find what it says about this room here. I, I got to get back to the Temple of Epshire. There's no uh, header at the top of the page in the scan. Okay, Temple of Epshire. Level 1. Rooms. Room number 18. The passage reeks of spoiled and rotten matter. A strip of cloth sticks out from beneath a mound of dirt in the southern portion of the passageway. So maybe that's the trash that Maybe that's the more trash that we can pick up. Let's check it out. Let's go get some more trash. Oh. Treasure number 20. Trash. Uh, let's see. Level 1, does it say level 1 treasures? T20, nothing of value. Alright. Uh, whoa, we're too far away to pick up anything else. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go here. Uh, room 21. Let's see what it says for room 21 here. It says room 21. The west wall of the cavern shows the markings shows the marks of carving tools, but the rest is natural rock. The floor of the room is overgrown with mushrooms of two varieties. One has broad, flat caps and is white with brown splotches, while the second variety has black, tightly rounded caps. Okay. That's room 21, where we are now. Oh, got some mushrooms. That checks out. Okay. You know, this is kind of actually adding to the experience. Oh no, a mosquito. Uh, we're getting into some combat here for the first time now. Uh, let's go four to A. A to attack. A to attack. A to attack. It dies. Too far away, okay. Let's do some more questing. And go up first, let's go up first. Uh, how do we apply a salve? And how much does a salve... Oh, so H... H will apply our healing salve. We're more well. Okay, so it doesn't heal us all the way. About 11%? Maybe we should have got more salves, but... Uh, yeah. I didn't get any... Um, healing... Maybe the elixirs heal me more. I don't... Uh, were, were, there, were there elixirs on sale or not? I don't remember. Room 20. You want to check it out and see? Room 20. The walls of the room are covered with algae. Most of the algae is black and rotten, but a few uh, remaining brown patches have a nutty aroma and have tasted are reminiscent of spice bread. Okay. Um, I feel like those two sounds are slightly different and it's a little, little odd. <laughs> Got some food algae. So yeah, it works with the description there. Maybe if you're, you know, reading the descriptions, you'll know. Is it worth my wait to actually uh, go get that treasure or not? Because if it just says it's trash, then why risk the random mo uh, monster encounter? 
room 17 only the floor has been smoothed in this chamber the walls and ceiling haven't been been left in the natural state the air smells of decaying vegetable matter a small mound of stones against the west wall in the north end of the passage partially blocks the way to the north uh let's see what that, what's, in that, what's in that chest some trash all right uh, let's check out the north see if it's blocked Uh, 23. The native rock walls of the room are covered with algae. Most of the algae is black and rotten, but the remaining brown patches have a nutty scent and taste like spice bread. The exoskeleton of a huge ant lies in the middle of the chamber. So I'm going to guess that we'll get some more uh, food algae here out of this chest, and maybe maybe we'll encounter another ant. Let's see. G. Food algae. So, I was right. Um... Check out south first. Okay, room 22. Also overgrown with uh, mushrooms. and uh, The same as room 21, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna get some mushrooms uh, if we go get that treasure chest. And it says a skeleton lies among the mushrooms still clutching the remnants of a sack. So that could be us. I want that life. Let's uh, make it happen here. Um, I got some more mushrooms. Okay. Uh, I know what I meant to do. I need to turn. It's a little more centered. Oh, a swamp rat. Let's attack. We missed. Okay. Uh, should we walk? I don't really know what the uh, like what what distance is too far away. Don't have a good sense for it yet. All right, we got it. It dies. Great. All right, let's check out over here. Room fifty-six. A passage with rough stone walls and floor, and a native granite ceiling. The south wall of the passage is faced with smooth, square stones near the far end. While the floor and other walls are of, of rough stone, a foul, musty odor fills the air, and a thin layer of moss coats the floor at the extreme end of the passage. Okay. Oh, here we go. Room 24. A mossy, carved stone landing. The air is very humid and smells of damp and mold. A slime-covered sack rests against the eastern wall of the landing. Let's check out that slime-covered sack. Uh, we're too far away from the slime-covered sack. I hate when that happens. We gotta get our trash. Um, yeah. Oh, we're right on it uh, in room 26 here. A shallow pond fills most of the room. The surface of the water is covered with a white mold, except in the northeast corner where a clump of golden brown seaweed is visible. Let's check out this. Oh, some kelp. Okay, that works. Uh, let's see, room 25. A stagnant pond fills the south end of the carved stone chamber, with a narrow landing at the south end. White mold covers the surface of the water, save the southeast cor corner where a gold-colored seaweed is in evidence. Tests will reveal the water to be three feet deep, but the bottom of the pool cannot be seen through the murk. Okay. Got some more kelp. Uh, I didn't really see any other... Whoa. Giant ant trap. Okay. We're getting struck like crazy here. We're missing like crazy here. Oh, maybe we should hit H. Getting struck again. Okay. Oh, we got it. It dies. Okay. I don't know if enemies ever uh, drop anything in these games or not. But yeah, uh, as I was saying before, I got. Rudely interrupted by the giant ant there. Um, I don't really see any other branching paths that we didn't take. Let's see. As we backtrack here. 
because we went both 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 north and south there on both of those. Pretty sure we uh, checked out that side room there, which just had a chest in it. And we came from south here. Um, yeah. So let's, let's maybe exit the dungeon. If we can. Because I didn't see any other, uh, any other branches, so maybe there's a secret door somewhere? Too tired. Oh, I know. Oh, we got fatigue minus five. Uh, maybe we should be resting some. We're walking too much, and we're probably encumbered. Uh, we hit zero. Uh, yeah, zero to rest for one turn. Uh, swamp, wa swamp rats uh, interrupting our rest. I hate when that happens. Um... All right, it dies. Let's rest a little bit more. Make it to the door. Uh, let's hit I, inventory your treasures. Well, at least the trash doesn't weigh anything. Uh, let's hit O to open the door. And then you gotta walk through it. Uh, we can return to the inn, drop off thy treasures, examine thy treasures. Let's return to the inn. Uh, let's see what fortunes thou hast retrieved. Right, total, total value of 32, that's not bad. Uh, the trash is worthless, good to know. But at least it doesn't weigh anything. Okay, uh, so here we are back. At the end, we got a little bit more silver. We got um, uh, a little bit of experience here. And yeah, let's see. I, I don't see an option to purchase elixirs, so maybe we have to find those. But I think what we'll do instead here is just reboot really quick so that we can get into double high res mode and see what that looks like. Welcome back to Waza Day. We're going to get back into Temple of Epshai Trilogy in double high-res graphics mode and see how that looks. Got to wait for it to load up again here. All right, let's do two and create another new random character. And let's, uh, let's uh, purchase fine weapon. I feel like the broadsword worked out well. Uh, 18, 10, 14, sure, okay. Let's do more haggling. Uh, B. Uh, here we go for, go for large shield. Go for large shield. 10, 12, okay. C. Oh, we have less silver than the other guy. I guess we're gonna get the leather armor. All right. Uh, and then let's just max out. Oh, which is the same number of uh, healing selves. Okay. Okay. That's uh, fast monsters. And then you wanna do upper reaches or curse of raw? Let's check out upper reaches. after we unlock the dungeon. All right, here we are. Double high-res graphics. Um, we're right here with the treasure chest. Not sure what's up with those little uh, graphical uh, glitches. Um, this treasure number 20, a large rock. I'm pretty sure that's worthless. Um, yeah. This is a little bit harder to read for me. I don't know about you. Uh, I find the other one more readable, uh, but of course you don't have as much uh, resolution on your sprites and such. Oh no. Garden snake, okay. Struck thee. Yeah, this is a lot a lot harder to read for me. 
I do kind of wish this worked in Virtual 2, because I'm not sure if that glitch would be showing up in Virtual 2 or not. I don't know why some um, double high-res graphics games don't work at all in MAME for me, or like they uh, work in this bizarre black and white mode, but uh, this one seems to work okay. I'm just not sure about those little odd glitches. Anyway, let's check out what this treasure is. Let's maybe we should be reading the room descriptions here too. Um, hang on, let me. I gotta gotta get forward to the upper reaches in my manual here. Rooms two to three, a small yard choked with weeds and littered with garbage. Uh, to the north is a large barn. To the east, an alley, and to the south, the stable area. To the right of the barn door are stacks of rotting garbage. Just to the left of the door is a small bonfire in which you notice a gleam of something other than flame. Uh, maybe we should check that out. Uh, large barn. So to the north, let's check out this first. I'm pretty sure this is going to be trash. Still not close enough to the trash. Oh, a copper piece. Never mind. Maybe. Oh, maybe that was the um, the glint we were talking about. I don't know if I need to go through the stable or the what the deal is, let's see. We'll figure it out. Another copper piece. Are we in the barn now? Let's see, uh, room eight. Eight to 10, the barn. The place is obviously ill-kept and straw and feathers are everywhere. You hear honking to the right and loud clucking to the left. I'm pretty sure uh, if, we, if we investigate, we'll be born out. We got Oh no, a goose. I, I I assume we have to fight the goose. This is room 18. Anyway. Got it. The goose is going for us, so we have to fight the goose. Um oh no. Goose. Man, now I am curious what's in this treasure chest. Okay. See if we can get to the treasure chest without getting goosed. Um, another thing about this game is the manual says plug in your joystick, but I can't, I don't, I don't know that there's any real joystick support. I, I, like, it's me pressing my joystick with Game I Joy, pressing the action button, and nothing. So I'm not sure what the joystick would be used for. I've got some small eggs, some goose eggs, presumably. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go see if we can fight the chickens. Double high res chickens. I'm not sure what these would look like in normal high res. Oh no, chicken! Go steal some eggs before it attacks us. Oh, it's it says no. Don't don't take my eggs. All right, here we go. No, oh, what? No. Chicken combat here. Man, they're they they are fast monsters. We got it though. Too far away. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's check out over here. The garden snake. Okay, we got it. It dies. Okay. Oh no, another one. I'm not sure if that door um, will take us back. What the deal is? Because I think I think in this level, if we just turn around at the start, we'll leave. But let's, let's see what this door does. Too far away. Oh, I thought I thought that was a door. Um, two. Nope. Not what I was trying to do. All right. Well, two. All right. Two. Oh, 
Oh. There we go. It is a door. Okay. Walk through it and see what happens. Yeah, I think the rule of thumb is... Oh, man. Uh, if you... Uh, whenever you enter the dungeon, you can you can exit from that room. So... Treasure number two. We've got some berries. Uh, we're in room 29. We're on the berry farm, I think. The in oh, yeah. The innkeeper's berry patch. It must be the right time of year because every bush seems laden with luscious ripe berries. Uh, since the innkeeper has given his permission and you're hungry, you decide to grab a basket and do some picking. Uh, what you don't eat, you can always sell in the village for a few copper pieces. While wandering through the bushes, you notice some tomato plants beginning to supplant the berries in some spots. There is, in fact, an entire tomato garden next to an old tool shed on one side of the berry patch. The berries are spread over a low hill that begins to slope uh, steeply near the back hedge. Uh, I don't know if I really want to go berry picking right now. I'm good with one, one bushel. Doesn't sound like there's much more. Unless we want to get some tomatoes. This guy seems to be getting. Whoa. We got a missed a something trap. I was going to say, this guy seems to be getting less fatigued than the other guy. Just walking around encumbered. Um, maybe I should have paid closer attention to the, to the stats. So it's down here. Room six, the main stable area. Okay. I don't see any way out of there. Uh, I think that opening to the right just leads us back to the berry patch. There's some very odd, um, like, screen scrolling mechanics in these games. Also not sure what's up with memes, like, occasional audio popping or clicking or whatever that you hear going on. Apologies if that's bothering you, but there's really nothing that I can do about it. Oh no, a field mouse. Because I can't, uh, you know, I can't run these games in Virtual 2 either. If I if I wanted to, to not have that issue. It dies. One hit kill. Too far away. Uh... Does that say, does that say housewife? What? What is this game? Um, it says inside, we're in room five. It says inside room five, wet laundry hangs on a line in the corner. Can we take the wet laundry? Oh no, she's attacking us. Well, looks like we're gonna have to defeat the housewife. The innkeeper gave us permission to pick the berries, but we're going to kill his wife here. Maybe. And, uh, she might kill us. Who knows? Anything could happen. Gives in some good uh, shield hits there. It dies. That feels very strange to put in this game. Um... Dude, we got, got some laundry. Go back and see uh, how much we can sell that laundry for after we've uh, killed somebody's wife. Um, that does not seem like a great uh, game design. Field mouse. Seems a little bit uh, blase, to be honest, and out of place. Especially when you've written all of these, like, room and treasure descriptions. Let's see what the treasure description is. Treasure 5. Hmm. No. I'm not gonna read that. Oh, wait, no. It's uh, treasure, treasure 8. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. The laundry consists of a few shirts and a pair of pants. They are wet 
uh, not in your size, patched, and certainly not worth taking. So maybe maybe it is encouraging you not to not to kill somebody over some worthless laundry. Let's see. Let's see what happens. That's the first person I've encountered one of these games. I think. Other than the innkeeper. All right, let's return to the end. See what we retrieved. We got okay. Uh, the laundry is worthless. Yeah. Okay. The berries and the small eggs uh, were worth a coin, though. I, I don't understand how the copper pieces have no value, though. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, after that uh, disturbing uh, combat encounter, I'm not sure if I really want to do much more Temple of Abshai today, so I think that's going to do it here for me with Temple of Abshai Trilogy on Waza Day. And I will see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.